dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. Um, seeing as today is MLK Day and most of us are off for school and just taking the day to really celebrate whatever you would like to celebrate today, I wanted to do a video on a program that I learned about this past weekend and like my take on it. Um, this past weekend on Saturday I went to um, Grass which is Georgia Resident Assistant Saturday Seminar, which is the the resident assistants um, for a lot of the colleges in Georgia basically gather in one place and we exchange information like on how to become a better RA and different program ideas and just stuff like that. One of the sessions I went to a program called What is Ratchet? And this program really hit home for me personally when it comes to um, when it comes to carrying yourself in a more positive manner and spreading positivity, not negativity. So I'm gonna explain to you what the program was and basically what happened. So when we walked in, say. there were poster boards, and on each there were five poster boards, and on each one there was a different saying of some sort. And one was, that's so gay, uh, you're so fake, uh, what is ratchet, what does the thought say, and you talk slash act so white. And basically at the beginning we were just supposed to go up to each board and write whatever we wanted to write if we had something to say about one of those five topics. Um, and then we went around and talked about a couple of them. First, we talked about the That's So Gay um, one. And one of the guys on there had put how he wanted, he put on there, how do I stop saying this? Because he wanted to understand coming from his background, that is something that he does say a lot in a negative manner. And what's the way to stop saying it? And basically the conclusion to that was to expand your vocabulary because most times people say gay as in bad but instead they could use a different word like that was so ridiculous or that was so stupid instead of saying that's so gay and um, associating that with the negative context. One of the other girls put I am gay because she was and it's it, it's a sexual orientation not the second action. one we went over was uh, talking white and acting white. And when you say that um, that person uh, is acting white or talking white, you most likely are really saying something about yourself because that that being white is associated with being more educated and handing, handling yourself in a more educated manner. What does that say about you? Does that say that you are uneducated because you don't talk or act white? Um, and basically that that's not something that should be associated as such. Um, that being white should be the only thing that um, you associate with being The next educated. was that so fake. Somebody put that at one point or we are all fake in a sense because there is always a time and a place for the way we act. Um, another girl said that there's no such thing as acting fake because if that's the way that, that person acts and that's who that person The fourth really one is. was what is ratchet and of course there were all of these things about the way people dress and the way they talk um, but basically it's more of a tolerance thing to where just because you may find something is different or weird and you call it ratchet that doesn't mean that like from a different culture that's something normal to them or maybe you know it is just the way they dress or whatever and it's just something that your words on that you have to really realize that they hurt and if it's something to where so it's the way somebody does dress let them know what they look like like 
sometimes people just don't know and when it comes to my whole thing with the word ratchet I just say educate people if I view somebody and I feel like what what they're saying is coming off as ratchet then I try to just show them what that can now the be one that as. really made something come out of me was what does the thought say and thought is in t-h-o-t -T. it means that hoe over there of course a whole bunch of people find, found this as hilarious but that that really like ticks me off it really ticks me off because you we just found another way because this is another new thing that someone is saying and it's found it's another way to put someone down what does the thought say and what I had to say to that was I put sayings like thought regress our society and it should stop now I said don't bring more of these negative sayings into 2014 and to me it just really it really really hit some place because we make up these words like ratchet and thought and all of these insane sayings and they're all stuff to put people down why are we so focused in putting other people down instead of helping them why don't we make up words that actually uplift people instead of down downgrade people one of the girl something that a girl had said was that we use these negative words to separate ourselves and that we're just continuing to separate ourselves and put others down and try to uplift one or lift up yourself to make yourself better than the other person with using these type of words like ratchet and and thought and ho and all of this other stuff and to me it's like you can't do it alone you you can't you can't do it alone you can't do anything alone you need people to support you we need to come together I said that we need to come together if you think about it and I said most of the people there were 80s late 80s 90s baby I'm a 90s baby and if you look at the way that we came up and compare it to the way that people nowadays nowadays are coming up it's like it seems like things are getting worse and they're con they're continuing to get worse and we don't understand why how it's continuing to get worse and worse and worse and worse as the years go by but it's because of these negative things and these negative words like thought and things like that that we constantly use to put each other down to disconnect ourselves and that's why it's getting worse the only way that things are going to get better is if we put positivity out in the atmosphere and not make up these negative words like if we made up positive words to uplift each other and actually help each other and stop seeing as oh I'm one person and I'm only for me and that's all it and fuck everybody else because that's just the way it is no you need to say yes I'm an individual Elea is an individual that is trying to build herself up and in the process build other people because I can't do it alone this, and I don't know they. why but the whole saying thought and stuff like that it just really hit home for me because all it is is more negativity being put into the atmosphere and we're just gonna continue to put ourselves down as a people and I'm not okay with that so um, what I want to say to you and what I want to challenge you with is to put more positivity into the atmosphere go ahead and comment below a word that you made up to describe something positive to describe someone positive instead of a negative word to put somebody down or to describe how you are better than that person that's all I really had to say um, as you guys can see, I was just really passionate about this topic and it was just something that really struck me some sort of way. Um, so like I said, comment below, like the video if you like it, share it with others if you feel the same. Let me know how you feel. And that's all I have to say for today. Goodbye, I Whenever I hold this side, I'm from a side where we gotta control. Rap music and the hood play the fatherly role. My story like yours, yo, gotta be told. Trying to make it from a gangster to a golly a roll. Red scrolls the stone.